All right, so it's about 6 a.m. About to go to my first workout of the day with my guy, Dante Lewis. Super good guy, super up and coming trainer. His socials are Finesse Inferno, um, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Make sure you guys follow and spends a lot of time working under Drew Hanlon, you know, the famous uh, NBA trainer. So high level guy, really, really high level guy. I really like him. I'm gonna take you guys on kind of a behind the scenes look at a pro workout. So there'll be move breakdowns, some one-on-one, -on -one, some live action, I'm a lot of teaching points in there. I think that's kind of my way to give back to you guys. Yeah, let's get to it. number one and i'm sure you guys are absolutely sick of hearing this but get your work in early in the morning something we said about waking up early don't feel your best and get that work in the rest of the day don't have that pressure to that really good good workout in later in the day it's like you've already got it done it's the first thing on, on your mind first thing you finish so the most important thing you're dead just get the work in early George, can you introduce yourself as something besides Slender Man? Because that's what you look like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Okay, I need the intro. What's up? All right, let's get it licked. Um, I'm so weird. Wait. Why, why is he being so weird? <laughs> Just say it. Yo, I'm George Reedy. I'm a senior at Azusa. Oh, 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 where? George Reedy, Azusa Pacific. Guard. Big Guard <laughs> University. What up, D? What's up guys, it's Dante Lewis with Finesse Inferno Basketball Training from the Seattle area. Excited to teach you guys some stuff. Let's do it. Not a rush. Your time. I think that is only the reason why a lot of times when you guys go in full speed to the basket, like yeah. this, and you just take it off, and then when you shoot a floater, is this is why you go like this. When you shoot a floater, you go like that fast. It's the point where it feels like it's in slow motion, one, but two, it feels like you're like literally slipping like it, yeah. pissing it off the rock. Go. Now let me explain. Floaters have always been my kryptonite. I've always had a solid three, a good mid-range, and decent at attacking the rim. But this in-between game, it's where I gotta work on. As a shooter, I have a really difficult time not snapping my wrists on my floaters. This takes away my touch. This is gonna lock, but you're gonna push it. Almost think about pushing your elbow backwards, and then boom, and then you're locking at the top. But you see when you go like this, your elbow goes here. So this still gotta stay here. So when you look to here, it's like this. I'm not this, you're like here. here. Because you're shooting it flat. If your palm's on it and you're about to shoot the ball, you're like this. So it goes forward. You gotta keep it boom, it's under, it's under the ball the whole time. Like this and dribble it, 
So I want you to take the dribble, then I want you to take the step, and I want you to do When you're here, you're doing you're doing the step.
fine body if you wanted it.
uh, uh, 520 left. 